hello, second year, how are you today? Well, to pay attention, we are going to check pages 68, 69, 70, and 71 from the activity book. How are you today? Happy, sad, what's the weather like today? Ah, it's a hot day, windy day, and good, hot, very hot and sunny. And look, look at the lapachos. Oh my God, they have very nice flowers. Yes, and you know, it's coming. Who is coming now? Winter, spring, spring. Yes, okay, it's hot and sunny. Well, let's go to the pages because we have many things to do. 68, exercises one and two. 68, exercises one and two. One, three, actor, audience, musical. Yes? One, two, and three. Four to six, four to six, actor at the cinema, audience and film. Seven and eight, artist and painting. Yes? Okay, in an art gallery. And then you have at a concert hall from 9 to 11, audience, put the tick if it is okay, across if it is wrong and correct, write the correct version so that you can have the, the answer, the right answer, okay? Audience, music, musicians. From 12 to 13, fun, team. Is it clear? So, let's go to exercise two. Remember that the keywords must be highlighted, yes? Okay, animation, comedy, documentary, horror, romantic comedy, and science fiction, okay? Number one, romantic comedy. Two, horror. Three, documentary. Four, animation. Five, science fiction. And six, comedy. Is it clear? So, let's go to page uh, 69, page 69, exercises 5 and 6, okay? 5 and 6, all right? Are you ready? 1, D, 2, B, 3, A, 3, E, sorry, 4, C, 5, F, 6, A, is it clear? 1D, 2B, 3E, 4C, 5F, 6A. 6. 1. I'm going to watch. Are going to play. 3 is going to buy. 4 is going to meet. 6 is going to have. Yes. And it are going to make. Exercise 6. Okay? Yes? Good. From page 70. Page 70 and then 71. Yes? Page 70 and 71. Okay? 1E, 2C, 3D, 4H, 5A, 6G, 7B, 8F. Exercise 2. 1D, 2C, 3B, 4A, 5F and 6E. Yes, that's all from there. Yes, okay. So let's go to page 71, exercises 3 and 4. Yes, okay, 71. Are you there? 3 and 4. Funny, number 2. Interesting, number 3. Violent, number 4. Scary. Number five, exciting. And number six, boring. Exercise four. I'm going to borrow this book to read about filmmaking. Two, I'm going to download this song to listen to it. Three, I'm going to book tickets to see a play. Four, I'm going to buy this film to watch it later. Wait a minute. Five, I'm going to evening classes to learn French. I'm going to drama school to study acting. Yes, is it clear? So, bye-bye activity book. And let's go today 
Yes, let's go to these pages from the class book, okay? So we have unit 9 today, pages 110, 111, put the date, 112, 113, plus the review 116. Remember that next class we have revision, yes? This is a review that we, we always do in the book. Yes, okay. Next class we have revision on unit 9. Yes, okay. Only three lessons, only three remaining lessons. 10 after the revision, 10, 11 and 12. And we finish the book. From that moment, remember from September onwards, we start the final schematization. It means that you prepare yourself for the final exam. Yes, okay. We start with all the topics again. Entonces, en la, en la esquematización final, lo importante es que las personas que tienen puntos que no entendieron, algo que les costó un poco más, van a afianzar todos los contenidos más o menos desde septiembre, mitad de septiembre, porque nos quedan las unidades 10, 11 y 12 del libro. Yes, okay. Um, y después comenzamos con Final Schematization. Entonces, ahí es la oportunidad para ponerse realmente ya definitivamente todas las pilas porque estamos, ¿qué? En ya preparándonos, dando todo de nuevo. O sea, que si no aprendiste ahí, oh my God, ya no. ¿eh? Vamos otra vez con todos los contenidos desde la Unit 1 hasta la Unit 12. ¿Ok? Ora and Reaching. Ora and Reaching. ¿Es clear? Bueno. Well, so let's go to page 110. Yes, 110. Put the date. You put the date. Vos ponés la fecha desde la 110 hasta la 110, 111, 112, 113, and 116. Jump the other pages, okay? Um, I'm going to go to the presentation of the class. Esta es la parte que yo te digo siempre que tenés que mirar, porque está siempre la corrección de la tarea, pero cuando voy presentando los temas nuevos, cuando hago description de las pictures, cuando presento todo, porque hoy, por ejemplo, tenemos sense verbs, tenemos eh, cómo escribir una review de, uno, de un perfume, de una, um, de una prenda de vestir, ¿sí? Entonces, todo eso, yo no es que explico y queda en el aire, eso queda en la clase, está presentado con un vídeo, con una proyección, ¿Sí? Yo enfatizo qué es lo que quiero que ustedes... Nunca los mando así, ¿sí? nunca los dejo solos. Siempre van con ese acompañamiento. Si te olvidaste, ay, no lo vimos, justo ahí me pasó un pajarito y me mandaron un text, porque ahora yo no puedo controlar si estás con un celular al lado, con una radio, algo que te desconcentre. Entonces, siempre ahora tenemos esa facilidad de que están, ¿qué cosa? Las pictures, ¿ok? Las pictures, las pictures, estoy buscando yo. Es que están las, um, you know, uh, the videos of the class. Yes, okay. Well, so pay attention now. What I'm going to project there, yes, is art. Yes. Are you interested in art? Yes or no? Te lo acerco un poquito más. Yes, okay. So, the first one, yes, the first one. Yes. The first one is October in the forest, Leonid Afremov. Number two, yes, looking down, Joe Smith's Ballet by Albert Wirtz, Tat. The Oxbow by Thomas Cole. Irises by Vincent Van Gogh. You know, this is Vincent Van Gogh. You, when you see this kind of painting, you realize that it's a Van Gogh painting. Yes, okay, is it clear? The Ninth Wave by Ivan Ivasovsky. And this is a very nice painting and it's an unknown artist. Yes, so do you like art? Which of these paintings is your favorite and why? Yes, okay. Uh, do you think that it is modern or traditional art? Y justo a todos, 
justo ahora que tienen Zoom y todo esto con la profesora de plástica y eso, le pueden preguntar, what's the difference between traditional arts and modern, modern arts? Yes, ok. Y entonces van viendo todas esas, eh, eh, esas cuestiones con respecto a arts. Yes, ok. This is modern art, um, traditional arts, yes, ok. Um, well, so here we can see birds, birds, we can see trees, I think it is in autumn, yes, okay, um, well here we can see mountains, here we can see some kind of flowers, yes, okay, um, this is a whale, but you can see the sunset there, Yes, you can see nature everywhere. Yes, okay. But the thing is, um, what do you like and what do you prefer? Yes, okay. I prefer Irises by Vincent van Gogh because I like his way of painting. It's very, it is very attractive. Yes. Um, uh, But on the other hand, I also prefer um, pictures like this, with flowers and uh, trees, but not with mountains, yes, okay? I don't like, for example, the oak bone, yes? It, it is very sad, it looks very sad. Yes, okay, is it clear? So it looks very sad, yeah? Have you ever seen a painting and um, think about this? Uh, it makes me feel very sad. I feel very uh, amazed by this picture, yes? But this one looks very sad. I don't know why, yes? So if I use these verbs, for example, Pay attention, look, feel, smell, yes, uh, look, feel, sound, sound, no me quiero olvidar de ninguno, uh, taste, yes, ok, one, two, three, four, five, ok, entonces, ¿por qué se llaman sense? Verbs, yes, porque son los sentidos, mirar, yes, ok, look, feel, smell, sound, taste, probar, sí, sonar, yes, más un adjetivo. Estos son los que vas a usar en tu descripción ahora, yes, viste cuando yo digo it looks very sad, yes, ok, um, I feel very depressed when I see this picture, yes, okay, not talking about this painting, but it smells bad in here, is it clear? Entonces, todo esto que yo digo, look, uh, uh, más un adjetivo, bad, yes, nice, uh, awful, etc., yes, se llaman sense verbs, que eso es lo que vamos a usar en las reviews ahora, ¿está? Is it clear? Well, So, um, I will go to the next one. Wait a minute. Acordate que, que hago siempre, presentar todas las cosas y después ya cuando ya presentamos y vimos todo lo que tenemos que ver, vos estás seguro sobre la gramática y ya vamos directamente a hacer las actividades. Y se clear, entonces, cuando yo te digo volver a mirar la clase tal, quiere decir que vuelvas a mirar que esta parte, esta parte, la del warm up, ¿sí? La del precalentamiento, la de la presentation of the topics, ¿sí? Bueno, well, y acá te puse, eh, te pusimos algunos ejemplos con la teacher. Uh, look, y no pusimos conjugado el verbo porque queríamos apuntar a sound, great, look, amazing, ¿bien? Ahora voy a hacer ejemplos. It tastes delicious. It tastes, ¿por qué hago el capilla a ese? Porque estoy hablando present simple. Yes. Ah, yesterday I went to see a band and it sounded 
great. Yes. Ok, vos lo conjugás al verbo, lo que sea. Pero acá estamos apuntando a sense verb. I mean, repeat. Taste, sound, smell, look, uh, feel. Huh. Aldana couldn't sleep yesterday because she felt scared. Yes, is it clear? Ah, uh, this woman looks amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. It smells awful in this classroom. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good. So, ahí tenemos los sense verbs. Yes, okay. Y por último, atención acá, porque esto está buenísimo. Te vas a poder expresar y vas a presentar un item. Acá tenemos reviews. ¿Qué es una review? Yes. ¿Viste cuando, when you buy through internet, cuando compras eh, por internet, que lees las evaluaciones, ¿sí? los comentarios, ¿sí? ¿Qué le hacen al vendedor? ¿Sí? O las reviews que tiene cada producto. Bueno, perfecto, el uso es divino, anda, funciona súper perfecto, eh, podés gastar menos tiempo. Bueno, ahora vas a aprender a hacer una review. Entonces, elegimos con la teacher, with the teacher, a Planet Fitness, a gym, yes, okay, uh, a perfume, Nina, and Turkish, that is a, a bar of chocolate, yes, okay, so pay attention, ahora te lo voy a acercar, y todo lo que está subrayado son los sense verbs, because uh, I say, right, vos vas a elegir uno, specifically, yes, Vamos a elegir del activity book. Ojo que por ahí yo me equivoco. Entonces por ahí hay alguna equivocación. No siempre me pasa, pero puede. Como la otra vez que era página 91 y página 97. Bueno, ese tema. Pero yo en la clase siempre explico y muestro. ¿Está? Así que atención. En la clase está todo. ¿Yes? Mi vida está acá en la clase. ¿Yes? Ok. Bueno, so pay attention. We are going to go. Porque ¿qué te voy a pedir ahora? En el activity book, en la, en, on page 74, on page 74, hay muchas, de, puedes tener, de Alhambra, me encanta, Barcelona, to War, War uh, Horse, sí, una obra de teatro, y después tenemos Digital Hero, que es Computer Games, seguro que vamos a elegir Computer Games, yo voy a elegir a ah, la alhambra, que me encanta. Yes, ok. Um, well. It's, uh, I think it's in Madrid or in Barcelona. Yes, ok. It's very, very famous. Ya te busco una picture. In Granada, nada que ver. Yes, in Granada, but it's in Spain. Yes, okay. Yes, no. Mira que divinura que es. Oh my God. Look. Yes. It's very beautiful, you know. Look at this place, in Granada. Sorry, because I said, I was thinking in Barcelona. Yo ya estaba pensando en Barcelona, en Madrid, because I really... Eh, la rambla, leí la rambla, la teacher leyó la rambla, yes, but this is a very, very, very nice place, yes, my mother-in-law was here, she visited this place, yes, and she says, I didn't go there, but you know, she said it's completely beautiful, yes, look at the mountains there, yes, the castles there, Yes, and it's very amazing. Yes, ok. Cada uno escribe de lo que quiera. Por eso dice, choose any of the items. Choose any of the items on page 74. De Alhambra, de Alhambra. Workhorse, that is a, a, a play at the theater. Or Digital Hero 2, que, that is a computer game. ¿Está? Y de eso van a escribir una review. Ahora te paso a mostrar review. Pero dice, include... Include sense verb. Quiero que lo incluyan. Sense verb más adjective. Por eso son los, en el ejemplo está subrayado. ¿Ok? Yo voy a acercar bien y los voy a leer de acá. Espero que me acompañe la vista. 
¿ok? Bueno, ahí tenemos la review. Dice, at the beginning, this is uh, Planet Fitness. At the beginning, uh, I felt scared because it was my first time going to a place like this. Uh, in the end, I felt confident with my body thanks to the staff. They are friendly and helpful. The gym machines are always in good conditions. In good conditions, I highly recommend this fitness center. Y le pegas, uh, you know, uh, puedes pegarle, uh, you can stick the photo or um, the gym or, el, yes, the, el, the logo, okay? And then let's go to a perfume, Nina. Yes, okay. Nina, it says, this is one, son tres ejemplos que escribimos from different objects, okay? This is one of my favorite perfumes. It is sweet, feminine, and uh, enchanting. The scent smells really good. Smells good. Otro scents very much additive. Uh, it smell, smells like apples, but it also has a complex floral undertones. The bottle is so cute, it looks like a sweet little apple with silver lips. Lips, yes. And then we have the Turkish. I bought it because a friend told me, but now I hate it. It is really hard to eat and it tastes awful. Another sense verb plus adjective. Plus adjective. The worst chocolate ever. Entonces, acá puedes hacer unos trabajitos re lindos. Super, mega, archi, beautiful, ¿está? Entonces, a esto es lo que yo me refiero. No entiendo, teacher. No, imposible. ¿Cómo no voy a entender? No estoy diciendo por nadie en específico, ¿eh? Estoy diciendo en general, ¿sí? Porque está todo, lo tenés todo. Y lo bueno es que lo tenés todo y lo podés ver once and again. No es que quedó en la clase, ¡ay! Si no anoto, me voy a olvidar lo que explicó la teacher, ¿está? So, tenés todas las cosas para ser uh, successful, ¿está? Bueno, well, that is all, yes, ok. From here. So now we can move to the exercises. Ahora sí, nos vamos a los ejercicios. Quickly. Yes, all right. From the book. Una vez que ya sabemos la gramática, nos podemos manejar súper excelente lo que sea el clásico. Yes, ok. Well, let's go to page 110. Ok. Highlight vocabulary. Birds, flowers, grass, lakes, leaves, mountains, rocks, sea, sky and trees. Yes, highlight it. Yes, ok. Well, the four pictures from one to four, vamos a tener esas las que hay ahí, yes, uh, show nature in art, yes, and you have to answer this question, I will help you, yes, okay, so there we are, um, they may be uh, fairly modern art, um, through three, number three is a very traditional Japanese artwork, Yes, ok, es muy tradicional la número 3, eh? la picture número 3. Yes, it's traditional, uh, yes, traditional Japanese, Japanese artwork. Number 2. Um, well, so let's go, do you, do you have paintings or photos, art in your house? What kind of pictures do you like? What kind of, of pictures are they? They are pictures of... Um, Uh, the sea, for example, I like pictures of the sea. I like a lighthouse, for example, I like pictures of tulips, yes. Um, what else? I like, a, I would like to have, I haven't got yet, but I would like to have a picture of the Lapacho because I really like the Lapacho in flowers at this time. Here, in front of um, the window, Yes, there is a very, very, I can see through the window, a very, very nice lapacho and it's full of pink flowers. Yes, okay? So I would like to have one of these, okay? But um, I don't like pictures with animals, yes? I prefer with uh, the sea because I like, I feel very connected to the sea. 
Yes, and with tulips and things like this. Fla I like flowers too. Yes, okay. Uh, well, let's go to exercise three. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. I will go to the answers, okay? So don't cheat. Don't cheat. You have to read Nature in Art. Yes, okay? Um, all the... the um, the writers, for example, Vincent van Gogh made 11 paintings of sunflowers. They were his favorite paintings because the, he loved the color yellow. I prefer his other paintings, but many people love the sunflower paintings. Nowadays, you see them on cards, postcards, t-shirts. Van Gogh, van Gogh died with no money, okay? He, uh, and you know, his um, paintings are very, very expensive, yes, okay? But in 1987, someone bought the last sunflower painting for 49 million, okay? Oh my God. Well, and then you have landscape, a painting of an area outside with trees, see? Do you like paintings of landscape? Yes, okay? What is landscape? What, what does it mean, okay? A picture with mountains, with lakes, with trees. Is it clear? Good. So let's go to exercise three. One, flowers, leaves. Two, rocks, lakes, grass. Three, birds, trees, sea. You know, Van Gogh hasn't got, hasn't, didn't have an ear. Yes, okay. Well, read the story about that. Mountain leaves. Number four, flowers. Yes, okay. Um, yes, so let's go to exercise six, okay? The writer likes Beatrice's work. Yes, okay. And Vincent van Gogh, yes, the writer doesn't say she likes paintings, but the phrase is, I prefer... Uh, his other paintings are simply, uh, that, perdón, implies that she likes some of his work, okay? Uh, y ahí tenemos las palabras que yo dije hoy, I like this, but I prefer this or that one, okay? Number two, the writer prefers uh, Milne Hayes painting, perdón la pronunciación, pero, um, yes, okay? Um, the, it is, um, what is this? Yes, paintings to her sculptures and Van Gogh's other paintings to his sunflowers, okay? Yes, all right, they are very difficult. For example, uh, Stanis Law, yes, was Polish, okay? And, and yes, debe ser pronunciado, if we are talking about Polish, a Polish name or surname, of course, yes. Okay, El number two, yes, Japanese. Yes, and Beatrice is Brazilian. Yes, so, yes, debe tener una pronunciación más de lo que yo estoy diciendo, ¿ok? Así que, bueno, el que sabe portugués y todo eso, chinese, japonés, lo pronuncia bien. Let's go to page 112, yes? Making arrangement. You know, is there, I want you to look at the picture, yes? Look at this picture. And is there uh, a theater in your town or city? What kind of shows are there? Plays, musicals? And what are the late, the last show you saw? What was it about? Yeah, okay, that is a pity. I really, really, really miss you, of course, my students. But I really miss the cinema, going to the cinema. Yes, because I really like um, um, watching films with my daughters, with my husband. Yes, with my friends. I enjoy going to the cinema, so I really miss going to the cinema. Um, th yes, there is a theater here. En esta parte es importante que vos hables en tu casa, así como la teacher Ruth hace solita, yes? ¿Por qué? Porque yo te trato de motivar a que vos hables. Después de la teacher, pausas y decís, yes, there is a cinema, there is a theater. The last play, uh, you know, play, una obra teatrata, teatral, yes? The last play I went to see was a uh, talk, yes, okay, um, it is very famous, yes, okay, 
uh, it was uh, two years ago. Yes, a long time ago. Yeah, because last year I didn't I didn't go to the theater. I went to the cinema. Uh, I went to listen to a band at the theater. Two bands. Yes. Okay. Uh, because they perform and they put everything. Um, yes, all the um, the not they 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 not only sing, but they also uh, make a kind of play because uh, they you see you can see the background. Yes, uh, you can see the the clothes uh, these uh, these singers wear. Yes, okay. Uh, war at that time, yes, okay, and it was amazing, yes, okay. Uh, so we're going to go to exercise two, yes, from page 112. Two friends are talking about seeing a show in broad, at Broadway. Oh my god, have you ever uh, gone to Broadway? Would you like to go? I would like to go, yes, okay, it, because many, many uh, famous uh, actors and actresses are uh, from there, okay, have played, no, I have played there. So let's go, yes, exercise two, from page 112. Track 89. Unit 9D. Conversation 1. Then you have to answer Hi, the question. Adriana. It's Rachel. Hi. Sorry, but I'm at work. I can't talk now. I know, but I'm going to the theater tonight. I've got two tickets for Phantom of the Opera. My friend works at the theater, and sometimes he gets free tickets. Great! Have you got a friend of yours that get, can get free tickets for the theater or for the cinema? No, it could be great for me. Eat. So, would you like to come? Thanks. I'd love to. When is it? Tonight. Tonight? Yes. Are you free? I'm sorry, but I'm working late tonight. Oh, can't you ask your manager? I can try. Okay, bye. Conversation two. Hello? Hi, Rachel. It's me again. Do you still have the extra ticket? Yes, why? Do you want to go? Yes. My manager said I can finish early. What time does it start? At 7.30. So let's meet at 7 outside the theater. That's great. See you at 7. Okay. Well, so you can rewind the video, play it again, in case you couldn't answer the question, because now you have to answer the question. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay, number one, the Phantom of the Opera. This is a very uh, well-known uh, play. Number two, Tonight. Number three, she's working late, that's why she can't. Number four, yes. Number five, 7.30. Number six, seven. Exercise three. Yes, okay. So you have to complete the expression for inviting and making arrangement, yes, okay? Highlight the words with a highlighter, great, I'd love, I'd love to go, but I can't, yes, okay? Good. Number one, are you there? From the inviting and making arrangement, and I want you to highlight these words plus the chart, yes, okay? Number one, I, would you like, would you like to go to the cinema tonight? Would you like to stay at home tonight? Would you like to have dinner with me? Would you like to infinitive? Yes. Number two, are you free? Otra manera de preguntar, yes, making, inviting or making arrangement. 
Uh, are you free tonight? Do you, do you want to go? Yes. Would you like to go? Do you want to go? Are you free tonight? Yes. Responding. Thanks. I'd love to go. I would like, I would love to go, but I can't. Yes. Okay. Me gustaría. Y es todo lo que tiene I, yes. I, la forma corta, y I would, no would, eh? nunca would, would. Yes. Okay. Uh, number five, I'm sorry. Number six, great, that's great. Number seven, making arrangement. Okay, what time does it start? W, auxiliar das, sujeto, verbo, yes? Okay, uh, let's meet at seven, yes? Okay, let's meet at seven. I'll pick you up in front of your house, yes? See you at seven, yes? Okay, so, and now, Let's go to page 113. Ahí tenemos la review. Quiero que subrayes todas las palabras. Are an art exhibition, a film, music, perfume, a perfume, or a restaurant. People often write reviews on websites. ¿sí? En Mercado Libre, vos te vas a, a ver las opiniones, ¿sí? Y las reviews del producto también siempre, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Um, do you ever read them? I do. I always read the reviews because... I want to know um, if it is useful or not, and then what other people think about the product. I am very interested in that, yes, okay? And how many starts it has, yes, okay? Good, if it is a well-qualified well seller, for example, is it clear? Good, and or product, yes? So, we are going to do exercise two, and we're going to match the extras from reviews and comments from one to five, yes, okay? With art exhibition, a film, music, okay. Read at home, yes, okay? And we're going to match, is it clear? Good, number one, I love this first album. We already know that we are, they are talking about music, yes, it's exciting. Subraya esto, por favor, sounds slow. Another sense plus sense verb plus adjective, yes? Number two, Yes, okay, a new place in the center of the city. We have mixed food, seafood, the starters. Taste great, tasted great. Another sense verb, taste plus great. Yes, okay. And number two is a restaurant, of course. Uh, let's go to number three, the new exhibition. Well, it is an exhibition in an art gallery. Y subrayamos, they look amazing. Yes, another sense verb plus adjective, in this case, look plus amazing. And exercise four, we have um, a felt skirt. Ahí ya tenés el primer sense uh, verb, okay, plus skirt, the adjective. Uh, blah, 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 strange man, but after that's very funny, we laugh for two hours, okay, this is a film. And in exercise five, you know, uh, I bought it, I bought this, because it has the name of my favorite actress on it, uh, but it smelled Awful, yes, okay. Well, uh, it was of course a perfume, okay? Well, and then we have in exercise A, ahí tenemos todos los verbos. Quiero que lo subraye, por favor. Look, feel, sound, taste, smell. Estoy en la página 113, ejercicio 4A. Uh, we often use sense verb plus adjective in reviews to give our opinions about something, yes, okay? Ya subrayamos en el texto. Después tenemos acá a musical theater, a fitness center, yes, ok. Vamos a ver qué adjetivos le podemos dar a esto, ok. Bueno, ok, number 4A. Bueno, ya está, lo que, eh, de lo que teníamos en el texto fui diciendo a medida que íbamos viendo en el, eh, ¿sí? Ok, B, a musical at the theater. ¿Cómo puede ser? Ok, a musical at the theater looks or sounds. Muy bien, plus an adjective, great, amazing. A fitness center can be, a, can look or feel, yes, okay. I feel very um, excited at that field, uh, fitness center. It looks, okay, well, it looks good, sorry. A new building looks, a concert looks, sound or feel. A new cafe, look, cafe look, feel, taste, smell. The cafe in there smells Oh my God, very nice, okay? Delicious, I mean. Computer game can look, sound, feel. 
a new type of uh, field, a type of perfume smell, a new type of sport, uh, car, yeah, look, sound, feel, and some men's alternative spell. Yes? Okay, clothes in a shop, looks, or feels. That was my daughter, sorry. A new type of chocolate can taste delicious or smell delicious. Yes? Okay? Well. Yes? Okay. Well, so let's go to, um, well, y lo que vamos a hacer va a ser elegir cualquiera de la página que te dije yo, del activity book que lo tienen ahí en la, en la, um, siempre en el classroom. Yes? Okay? Well, so can we go to the revision? 116 is the page. Exercises 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and also 8. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay? Shall we go? Now is the time that you do the activities and then listen to the answers. In exercise 1, you have to complete with going to. Very easy. In exercise 2, you have to make 5 sentences with going to plus infinitive. I'm going to go, por eso te dice, plus infinitive of purpose, que también va a entrar en la prueba. I'm going to go to the cinema to see a film. I'm going to go to a cafe to, um, to drink coffee. Yes, entonces voy a usar una frase con going to y le pongo para qué. Voy a hacer esto para tal cosa, yes, to infinitive. In exercise four, vocabulary. In exercise five, cross out the old one out, la que está incorrecta. Exercise six, yes, vas a hacer oral, describiendo las pictures, qué tipo de, what type of TV program, porque también entra eso, yes, a cartoon, a uh, um, news, documentary, a sport program, yes, okay. And how do you feel when you watch these programs, okay? And in exercise eight, number the conversation, okay? I will go to the answer, but now you stop the video. Number one, I'm going to watch. Number two, are going to play. Number three, are going to meet. Exercise two. Four, <coughs> sorry. Aren't going to try. <coughs> sorry. Five, are going to have. Six is, go six is going to buy. Seven isn't going to write. And eight is going to play. Exercise two. I'm going to go to the theater to see a musical. I'm going to go to a concert to listen to music. I'm going to go to an art gallery to look at paintings. I'm going to go to a cafe to have a drink. I'm going to go shops to buy clothes. Exercise three. I'm going to the cinema to see a new thriller. I'm going to um, go to my friend's house to listen to music. I'm going to go to the cinema to see a thriller. Number four, one, science fiction, two, comedy, three, documentary, four, horror, five, thriller, six, animation, exercise five, one, film, two, news, three, fruit, fruits, fruit, four, four birds, five, lake, exercise six, news, sport programs, wildlife, documentary, two, news, News can be boring or interesting. Sport programs can be can make you feel exciting or boring. Wildlife, docu wildlife documentary can be interesting, uh, funny, exciting, or boring. Yes, okay? Exercise seven are your answers. Yes, what's your favorite TV program? What words describe it? Yes, okay, my favorite TV program is, you know, uh, Simpsons because it's funny because it's amazing, because it's entertaining, yes, okay, cada uno elige el suyo. And in exercise A, would you like to come? Would you like to infinitive? What are, when, are, when are you going? At six, sorry, but I'm working late. Five, the field is also on at nine. Okay, I'd like to come at nine. Great, let's meet, let's meet outside the cinema at quarter to nine, right, see you there, okay? So, atender. I'd, or I would, que es lo mismo, like plus two infinitive, I'd like to go, let's go, 
Yes, okay, let's go, let's meet. Yes, is it clear? Entonces, tenerlo en cuenta eso, okay? Well, you know the homework, pages from the activity book, 72, 74, 75, only the exercises in brackets that you have in the photo pizarra, plus the writing, yes, okay? I have already explained the writing. Bye-bye, see you next class. Study for revision on Unit 9. See you.